Hi, this is Mike from Stagecoach Road Sewing, and we've got a really awesome machine to show you today. This is a Sears Kenmore. In fact, it says Sears Best right there. This is a 158.198. Or wait, let me double check that serial number. Yeah, 158.19802. And it's just come out of the shop. Well, as a matter of fact, it's on its way out of the shop. It hasn't yet gone out the door. But it's working and sewing beautifully. Uh, let's see, that's a pretty cool bobbin. So I think we'll wind a different bobbin just to show you how it's done on this machine. This uh, It takes a regular Class 15 bobbin. Uh, one of the most common bobbins in the world. Uh, the bobbin goes on the bobbin winder here. And you just push it down snug. And your thread goes on the back here. There are thread guides in the back here that you'll see when you unpack this. Go through the thread guides. And just follow the arrows on the uh, thread guides on the top here for the bobbin winding. Uh, and you put the uh, thread through any one of the holes on the bobbin. That's just to uh, secure the thread while it starts to wind. Press the bobbin winder forward and uh, you don't have to unscrew the uh, knob on the back of this machine like you do on uh, most machines. You just pull it out and that uh, instantly uh, disengages the motor from the rest of it. And then, uh, holding on to the end of your thread, take it slow, there's no hurry. Once you get it started, you can cut off this piece of thread here. Push that back in. And this, the bobbin winder, when your bobbin gets full, it's going to stop itself. It's going to pop this bobbin winder out. So that's how you thread the bobbin. And um, I guess I'll just leave the thread up there. Still through the two back thread guides there. And to thread it, you just come on down here through the groove around that thread guide there. Real easy. There's another thread guide down here that you'll want to catch. And a thread guide here. Then you just go through your needle and on this one, it's straight through towards the back. Okay, better put the bobbin back in. Okay, you want the bobbin to be coming off this side. Drop your bobbin in there. And you put your thread in through the uh, 
slot there. You can't really miss it. Then you hold your upper thread, your upper needle thread, and make one turn for the hand wheel. That'll pick up your bottom thread and bring it up. I'm using two different colors of thread just for demonstration's sake. And we're going to start our demonstration with a piece of shredding material. This is a, looks like a knit fabric. I really should change it to a ball needle, but since I'm going directly from here to denim and then to leather, I'm going to sew it with a regular sharps needle. It takes a standard needle, by the way, uh, Schmetz or Singer or any other good brand. Uh, so you can pick up you can pick up the bobbin and the needle uh, at any sewing store. Let's see. Let's start with a straight stitch. To do a straight stitch, just turn it till the orange dot is up. We'll do a fairly short stitch length. We're going to do about you know, 20 stitches per inch, and it's width down to zero. Tension, uh, we'll go about three and a half. Okay. Uh, and it looks like we need just a little bit more pressure, foot pressure. That's up here on the top of the machine. And it's just a slide, just slide it over. I'm going to put it at a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put it about three. Reverse. Forward. Bottom is kind of hard to see dark thread on dark material, but you can see that for thread real well. It's a nice neat stitch. And we'll add a little more stitch length there. Okay, so that's your lightweight medium weight uh, shirting type fabric. Again, this one was a a, a knit fabric. Well, not a knit, but a uh, synthetic. Yeah, but that's a nice neat stitch. Okay, let's go to denim. This is denim off of a pair of heavy-duty jeans. We're going to start with two layers. No trouble sewing two layers of denim. So let's try four layers. Yeah, nice looking. Okay, we're going to take that two layers and double it. We're going to try it with four layers. This is the final test on this machine. It's already been tested, um, but for the final test, we video it so you can see how this machine runs and so There's four layers of heavy denim. No strain, no stress. Again, nice looking seam, nice looking stitch. Okay, we're going to fold that four layers in half and we're going to sew eight layers. Eight layers of heavy denim. Watch your room under that presser foot. Okay, that's eight layers of heavy denim. And I still don't detect any strain there.
Then we have some leather. This is split leather. This is about the weight you might want to make a purse out of for a pair of moccasins. Now this is not a leather machine. If you want to sew uh, holsters or saddles or uh, you know thick, heavy, hard leather, uh, you're going to want to get an industrial machine that's made for sewing leather. Uh, but if you're going to sew uh, garment leather, this machine will work just great. And we have it. That's two layers. Looks great. And again, if you're going to sew leather, you're going to want to change the needle out and use a leather needle because it cuts a different kind of hole in the leather. Okay, it's a strong machine. How about stitch pad? We're going to do some of the decorative and stretch stitches that this will do. This is your stitch pattern selector. You can see the little glowing dot move from pattern to pattern. Uh, at each station there are two stitch patterns shown, one in orange and one in green. The orange is a single direction stitch. The green is a stretch stitch that moves the fabric back and forth and lays down stitches side by side. Um, we're going to start with just a straight stretch stitch. And you can see it moving the fabric back and forth there. And I'm going to add some stitch width and we're going to do the same stitch except a zigzag stretch stitch. You can see that. Here's the straight stretch stitch, and here's the zigzag stretch stitch. And each of those stitches is a multiple thread laid down. Let's go to the uh, this cool chain stitch looking stitch. No doubt there is a proper name for it, which I don't know. And those are just a couple of the uh, uh, built-in stitch patterns. You can see here that the uh, diamonds are not very well closed up, and I modified the stitch with this selector a little bit. You have a nice, neat di double diamond pattern there. Um, another option is to use the stitch patterns. I mean, stitch pattern cams, and you've got a nice set of them here. Uh, to put the stitch pattern cam in, you push the cam lever forward, it's marked here, and 
just press the uh, press the disc down so that the the uh, pin uh, goes into one of these four holes here. Push it all the way down, uh, and then you move your selector over to the cam setting. And uh, let's use a different piece of fabric for these. This is a fun little pattern here. This is a row of fish. I couldn't tell you what kind of fish. But they're cute. To take, to take the uh, stitch pattern cam out, you just press down on the top of the button where it says push. Pull the cam lever forward. Push down and your pattern cam just pops right up. Let's try a different one. Here we go. How about some little trees? That'll be fun. And here we have a cute little row of trees. Can you see it? Hope so. I'll uh, take a photo on the macro setting so you can see those. What else? Reverse. Oh, this is a cool one. You like this? Um, Okay, take one take a little more slow and careful. Push down the cycle control and slow and careful. This is good like if you're going over the seam in a pair of jeans. Or you just have intricate work that you want to do. And we have more little trees. So, uh, this machine has just been gone through and cleaned and lubed and inspected and adjusted. And uh, it's sewing beautifully. Again, this is one of Sears' best. Uh, it shows uh, a lot of the different patterns that you can do here inside the lid of the uh, machine. Uh, it's got this 
side of the bed folds out, so you have a free arm, or you can even slide it all the way off if you want to. Um, and I don't have the uh, uh, attachments for making the buttonholes. However, they're available at your local thrift shop. I see them pretty frequently. They come in a box that looks like the pattern cam box here. Uh, but this lid here comes off, and you can see the little gear that runs your zigzag assembly. That's about it. High quality machine. Uh, being as it's an electronic machine, uh, it's not going to carry our lifetime warranty that we put on our vintage machines simply because I just uh, I don't have enough know-how to uh, fix all of the different systems on this machine. If you ever have a problem with it, you can bring it back to me and uh, if it's one of the systems that I know, I'll be glad to fix it for you. No charge. Uh, you, of course, pay for any parts. But there will be systems on this machine, uh, like I said, the electronics, that I'm just not familiar enough with to uh, put the lifetime guarantee on it. Good, solid, strong machine, and uh, I think it will give you many, many years of happy sewing. <laughs>